It's Chris from Chrisima Credit Pouring. We're based in the UK and thank you for joining me today. Hello, I'm working on commission today. It's a 30 centimetre by 100 centimetre canvas. Now the commission was, is based on this painting. This is called Jupiter Tides. I did, did this a while ago. It's a lovely painting. It's got oranges and loads of iridescent colours in. So the client wants a cross between this painting and my most recent painting, Golden Ebb. Now Golden Ebb was a wee bit too bright for the client and this was a bit too dark. So I'm going to do a cross between the two. Golden Ebb didn't have any silicon except for the lower half. This one has silicon all over. The client's looking for a piece that doesn't actually resemble a landscape. She wants something quite abstract. So you have in the silicon in um, every cup is going to help create this kind of weird kind of um, bubbly effect everywhere and make it more landscape. Whereas the golden ebb, it was more kind of like um, graduated colors. Really beautiful, but um, she, the client's looking for something more like this. So, Luckily, I keep a record of all the colours that I use in my paintings. So I know that in this painting, I've used gold, and I had silicon in the gold, had um, the iridescent orange-yellow, black, Prussian blue, I put the silicon in, and iridescent blue-green, silver and then I put some more black and gold in. Now this is amazing, this was uh, four cups and they were all stacked the same but you can see the whole the difference in the um, colours and the way they come out and this is what I'm relying on for this piece. However, because the client doesn't want it too dark, I'm restricting the black in some of my um, cups. So I'm going to be using exactly the same colours. A couple of the cups are going to be changing the order of the um, original colours and limiting the, um, the black. So I've got my six flip cups. I'm going to be putting silicon in the Prussian blue. So I'm just going to pour this in a different cup so I can mix the um, silicon into it. So I'm going to put silicon into this. And I'm going to give it a very good stir in. All my flip cups are going to start off with gold. And I'm going to be putting silicon in. And because it's in the silicon's going in the first layer, I can pour this directly into the cups I'm going to use. And then I'm going to put some and give them all a really, really good stir. So I'm adding all the rest of my colours now, following my um, colour list and making sure I'm not too heavy handed with the black when I'm using it. The Prussian blue has got the silicon in, so I put that kind of midway up the cup. Flip them all. Oh, splurge there. Good, 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 good luck. <gasps> Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, so when I'm tilting this, I'm not looking for straight lines. I don't mind if it kind of moves and shifts all around. We're looking, hopefully, trying to get something quite organic. Okay, got my paint catcher. Hmm, which isn't long enough.
looking absolutely gorgeous at this stage, but I know the client wanted it quite abstract, so I gave it a really, really good torch to help bring up the um, cells and just to break the lines up a bit. The far right band of colour wasn't really doing much. There wasn't much cell activity in there. I really don't know why, because it had the same amount of silicon as all the other ones. So I decided to tilt this off. Oh my, this is absolutely stunning. The I had to get rid of that end bit because I wasn't getting much action in it. So you can see, I just love using black. They didn't want it too dark. So as it's happened, the black's at either end. And then you've got this lovely swish swell. It's a bit of calmness, a bit of action happening. It's really, really beautiful. Really pleased. I'm hoping they'll like it as well. I'm so pleased this painting dried really well and the cells and the shapes, everything just looks so organic and abstract. It's really beautiful. It's hard to convey how shiny and iridescent all the colours look. It's absolutely stunning. We sent a picture of the finished piece to the client and they absolutely loved it, which is always a huge relief when you're doing a commission. I will be varnishing this painting because it needs that UV protection because it's going to be hung in an area where there's direct sunlight falling on it. The painting will be eventually hung portrait so it'll be interesting to see which way round the client hangs it. I hope you've enjoyed this creation video and we're sending a huge big thank you to everyone because we've reached over 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.